Hey there, website people. It's Wayne D. And we're down in the basement looking at cool swings. Here's an oldie, but really goodie. It's Julius Boros. Boros won two U.S. Opens and a PGA. Uh, he had 18 tour wins. And uh, he's in the Hall of Fame. Let's run through a couple swings and then we'll talk a little more specifically about what he's doing here. So, Boros was always known for his uh, languid looking swing. Uh, the comment was always how relaxed he was and sort of loped around the, the course. And there's a good reason for that. So if you keep watching this, we'll we'll start talking about it. I think right away you kind of begin to see some of the things that I prefer in the golf swing, which is going to have me really liking this swing. A lot of Hogan elements in uh, in Boros' swing. see the similarities in the routine. A couple of waggles, constant movement, a little forward press. Boris was six feet, one about 200 plus pounds. Looks like he has big hands. Grip looks really good on the club there. So smooth is the, the operative word here. You can really, really get a sense of the great rhythm. Now there's a there's a swing of Hogan from the same camera angle. It's probably at the same probably the same US open. Alright, so let's go to a let's go to a down the line and talk about what's going on here. So in the setup, you can really see the tilt in the in the pelvis. So you can surmise that the pressure he's feeling, the balance is up toward the front of his feet here. And you can see when the he's kind of walking when he's if you watch his feet, look at him step back and forth there. So he just, it's almost like he's still walking into the ball. Left. He's going to lift his, going to start left, right, left. Now he's going to go. So when he goes, you can see a little, a little forward press. Now watch that, watch the grip drag. The grip's going to drag in, so the handle is going to get right into him. You can see the space just disappear right here immediately. The club hasn't moved that far. So this is a very inward takeaway, but the left wrist is cupped. The club is opening. Now the right arm, and this is one of the huge factors that I see in a, in swings that I like and especially in Hogan's swing is that at left arm parallel Boris's right elbow is above his left elbow. Hogan's are even and I think that's a a trait of guys who don't keep their right arm in front of them the whole time because this sets up an athletic throwing motion. So watch what happens here. So from from left arm parallel, which is here, as he goes 
to the top of his swing. Look how much the right elbow moves. It goes up about, I don't know, a couple inches at the most. So he's finishing this off. He's got all of his right arm height already. And he's got the thing deep. And as when you look at it from where you can see the right arm move back, you know he's got space there too, so it's not like his arm is stuck to him. So when he gets up to the top, he's going to have that forearm angled a la Angel Cabrera. And then he's going to do what you need to do from here, which is to take that forearm and drive it in. And of course, when you do that, if you look at where the grip goes, well, it goes you know, right out toward the ball. Now, because the arm is high and bent more here, when it comes down, it can't straighten out as much. So Boris is going to have a higher approach. And you'll see something that you know high approaches normally will will cause to keep the the club coming from from a good angle the head will back up a bit so if we looked at Hogan's swing and we look at this swing we know that Boros Boros's action is a little more a little more under him with backing up but watch that how the release goes well out to the left so you can see that Boris's heel is lifting up. But the hip movement is so is so cool here if you watch. So there's the the little forward knee press and then the look at the depth of the right hip. So as he goes back, he probably you would say loses a little bit of flex in that in that right leg but his pelvis is so tilted and it really stays like that so that really helps the shoulder turn feel steep and it helps that right arm elevate way up here and then he'll essentially because he's opening the face the right arm won't go up and he'll just stop and pivot back the other way. So this is your throwing action here. And if you watch the left foot, now this is something that is key in transition. So if you watch the driver, you know the heel is going to come up a little bit. But as it comes up, you can see it's it's coming up. It's not coming straight up. It's moving inward. And the foot is tilting into the inside edge of the ball of that left foot. But watch when it, when it comes down. This is something that I've really noticed with the great players that lift their heel. When it comes down, it's coming down exactly where it went where it came from or forward of that. Now you see a lot of people who lift their heel up and aren't pivoting properly, their heel will land closer to the right foot so it'll spin. But this shows that as the right hip and leg initiate that forward swing that the movement, the press, is, is over to the left. The left leg is retracting immediately so so you'll never see the left knee pitching out this way and you don't see any weight sort of tapping down into that left foot you just get it over to the heel so So if you look at it from behind, it would appear that his right foot is lifting more 
straight up but if you look at it from this angle you can see it he's really on the inside edge of that foot and the heel is coming up as the ankle is rolling inward so great great fluid motion and you know you know he could really strike it because he finished in the top five nine times in the US Open and he won like I said he won two of those the first US Open he won was actually the very first tournament he won on the PGA Tour and he won by four shots so here one more time we got a little subtle he slides the club into the ball there's that step step Hogan waggle little forward press so the key here is that he just he just stays in motion yeah, it seems like the the players now are more uh, I hate to call it mechanical um, but there isn't the the nonchalance <laughs> that Boros is displaying here. You know, everybody's more situated or trying to get everything in order. I mean, you think about Justin Rose, who's got a great golf swing, and think about that compared to compared to Boros. So there it is. A little drag to the inside. You're going to flip the face open. That right arm is going to flare and get nice and high. The right hip is going to keep going deep. So as that right arm gets over here, so does that right hip. And since the face is opening, the wrists are turning, it's going to take that right arm. It's going to stop it and move it in the other direction, and that's going to flatten the shaft. Hard to tell from these films where the where the shaft is actually pointed at left arm parallel, but you know you can guess it's probably a little flat. So there's one of my favorite swings. That's Julius Boros.